Are you serious? Are you serious? Mount St. Helens in Washington State is recharging. What does that mean? There was 130 small earthquakes directly under Mount St. Helens during an eight-week period. I did a video on that, covered it, and that, that's going all over the place. And, and you can uh, check out that video, okay? But to, uh, 15 hours ago, we just had another report. Seismologists are uh, using swarms of small quakes under Mount St. Helens as a natural laboratory to study the way magma moves through chambers deep under the mountain. Matter of fact, an ongoing swarm of earthquakes under Mount St. Helens doesn't mean that the volcano is likely to erupt soon, and it doesn't mean it won't, all right? Uh, but scientists are studying these tiny tremors to see what they reveal about the magma movement deep, deep, deep under the ground. Well, the quakes, non bigger than, of course, 1.3, and we reported that, that was the largest, started chattering under the northwest most active volcano back on March the 14th. Since then, the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network at the University of Washington has logged well over. 130 earthquakes. Now, the quakes are triggered as molten rock moves into St. Helens magma chamber about five to six miles below the surface. According to Seth Morgan, a scientist in charge of the U.S. Geological Survey Cascades uh, Volcano Observatory. What's going on at the volcano is nothing that new, said him, said Morin, but in 2014, the U.S. Geological Survey reported that several subtle signs, uh, including small quakes and a slight motion of the GPS stations on the volcano's flanks, indicated that the magma chamber was inflating slowly and recharging. Now, that was 2014. Now, here we are, March 14th, 2016, and we have 130 quakes in eight weeks. There's no question Mount St. Helens is awakening and it's beginning to recharge as the magma is filling up the, uh, the uh, under the ground below the uh, in the chamber. Okay. Now it's like putting bullets in a chamber and there's no question about it. It will blow. Question is when and how. Now the volcano went through a prolonged period of recharging after its cataclysmic 1980 eruption. Earthquake swarms much more energetic than the ones underway right now throughout the 90s. But the volcano didn't start erupting again until 2004. So what's happening now, folks, is well within the realm of what we understand to be a normal behavior for Mount St. Helens when it's in its recharging phase. But for scientists, the swarm presents an opportunity to dig more deeply into the physical process that produces the shaking and the quaking. And the big, big mountain is about ready to go breaking uh, because uh, it's, it, it, it's recharging. We're living in a time when every mountain is going to be moved, where every island is going to be moved. We had five islands disappear in the, in the Solomon Islands. Solomon Islands is a nation made up of six major islands and about 900 little islands. Whoops, make that 800, 895 little islands. Five of them just disappeared. So we have mountains moving and islands moving out of their places. This is in your Bible in the book of Revelation as one of the end time apocalyptic signs. Are you saved? Are you saved? Give your life to Jesus Christ. Are you serious? The mountains are moving.